มีเราพิซซิสเตอร์วิกกี้ไฮไลท์นิวส์ออฟเรดิโอแอนด์มิชชิ่งอันเจมส์ยัดเดอะนิวส์ไฮไลท์ฟอร์ติสวิกดีแอคทีฟเพรสซิเดนต์ออฟเดอะนาชั่นแนลยูนิตี้กัฟเมนต์เลดทูสแลชูดอนซินาร์ทวันดีฟอร์แคปเปนเนอร์มิชชิ่งออฟเดอะนาชั่นแนลยูนิตี้กัฟเมนต์ดีเนียมินิสตราฟอร์ดมินิสตรีออฟฮิมเนตเรียนเอฟเอสแอนด์เอสเอสตรามานิชเมนต์ออฟแอนด์มิชชิ่งมิสวิดเดอะจีแปนิสอัฟฟิเชียสแอนด์วิดินเอทีออฟเดอะซีสไฟอัคริมเมนต์เดอะเทอร์ริสมิลิตรีฮอนเตอร์สฟูเซส The repeatedly launches heavy weapons and airstrikes on villages in northern s h e s t e r without engaging in combat and other interesting news. These are the weekly news details. The acting president of the National Unity Government, His Excellency d u a l a s i l a a t e n d e d the 2 0 2 4 cabinet meeting of the National Unity Government. At the meeting, the acting president stated that domestic, political, and military developments will change on a regular basis in 2024. We need to keep up with the Chinese military and political landscapes. The acting president further stated that he believes that c o n c e r n ministries of the national unity government have already implemented strategic measures in their respective fields. We must be cautious that the spirit of the unity and solidarity is becoming more and more important. We are currently experiencing regional geopolitical competition. It is obvious that the common goal achieved during the Spring Revolution serves as a focal point for the respective ethnic revolutionary forces. That's why we all need to carry out relentlessly to fight together for opportunity. The revolutionary journey is not always smooth. There will be both positive and negative aspects. We will also have to deal with tiny parts, no matter what the situation is. We are confident that we will not ignore our primary goal of the building a new federal democratic union and any the military dictatorship. In addition, we would like to emphasize that people should be careful and avoid political twists that violate the principles of the national unity. The meeting was attended by the acting president, His Excellency d u a l a s i l a the Union Prime Minister Ma Wen Kai Dan, Union Ministers, and Deputy Ministers. The Union Prime Minister of the National Unity Government, Ma Wen Kai Dan, posted on social media on 15 January, in order to advance food sufficiency, food that is accessible and nutritious, as well as to implement seed production and horticulture for farmers and breeders. The National Unity Government is working in conjunction with civil servant employees who do work in the c d m movement, professionals, public administrations, and defense organizations. On the ground, supporters the local populations from rural areas and the public in the areas where the revolution is strong and controlled. Furthermore, the production and distribution of natural fertilizers, the control of the common insect diseases, the provisions of agricultural water supplies, and the provisions of drinking water technologies in w a r t r o n p r i s o n s The Union Minister for the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management of NUG, Dr. Wen Yai, met with Mr. Katahio Yasukochi, President of the Japanese Association of m a t e r Machinery and Manufacturing Workers (JAM), as well as the Director of the International Policy Management Division, Mr. Ryu Saito, and Trade Union officials from Japanese Trade Union Confederation (JTUC) r a n g o on 17 January. During the meeting, the Union Minister discussed the current political situation in Myanmar, the increasing number of the refugees following the military coup, the situation of international humanitarian requirements for these refugees, and the most effective manner to provide relief. Afterwards, the Union Minister expressed appreciation to trade union officials for their ongoing support and encouragement in Myanmar's democratic transition. And they discussed how they would continue to collaborate with the national unity government and the labor affairs sector to help and protect the rights of the Myanmar workers in Japan. The national unity government announced on 12 of January, according to Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management statistics, that more than 90,000 privately owned homes were destroyed due to the arson of the terrorist military h o n t e r and that. More than 5,000 people were killed, and more than 4,000 were injured as a result of the arbitrary killings throughout the country. One, the National Unity Government and all the revolutionary forces are making efforts to protect civilians from harm during the war of resistance. 
the terrorist military haunted attack with aerial bombardment and heavy weaponry devastating civilians. The Three Brotherhood Northern Alliance and the terrorist military junta reached a ceasefire agreement at their Gumi meeting on 11 January that terrorist military forces launched airstrike and heavy weapon attacks on six townships in the Ta'an region on 12 January. According to the Three Brotherhood Northern Alliance report, according to the ceasefire agreement, the Three Brotherhood Northern Alliance agreed with their terrorist military junta not to engage in hostilities and to refrain from airstrikes and heavy weapons attacks in the northern Shan state areas occupied by the Three Brotherhood Northern Alliance prior to and during the 1027 operation. With Chinese mediation, the terrorist military junta and the MMDAA agreed to an immediate ceasefire starting at 9 p.m. on 11 January. The Three Brotherhood Northern Alliance agreed not to launch from offensive attacks on strategic areas, military hunter camps, and outposts in northern Shanxi. Additionally, the terrorist military hunter agreed to refrain from airstrikes and artillery attacks on areas controlled by the Three Brotherhood Northern Alliance forces in the region. Within a day after the ceasefire agreement, the terrorist military hunter's forces had deliberately launched heavy weapons and airstrikes on villages and civilian populated areas without engaging in combat. These are the weekly highlight news of Radio Energy. We will present more interesting weekly local news to you. Thanks for joining our news.